Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of Terraria 1.4. Well, 1.4.1, but does that really even matter? And since last time I did a couple things, well, you might have seen all the chests I've, uh, chests I've opened at the start, because I really wanted a boss statue. But you might be asking, why? Isn't it just decorative? No. It gives you 5 defense, which early game is actually really good, because I have 37 now, and if I take it out, 32. Oh, yeah, this area up here. This is gonna be the place where we'll fight uh, Old One's army, uh, in order to be able to use Lightning Aura Rod and the Flame Burst Rod in uh, no normal gameplay. Oh, and look at this. I'm not clicking. We have found the Feral Claws. I'm losing a bit of defense, two defense because of it, but I think it's much more worth it because of the Ultra Swing and Speed Increase. Like, just look at that. Also, uh, we've upgraded our boots to Lightning Boots and we lost some defense there as well, but eh, what can you do, what can you do? So, in today's episode, what I was thinking that we're gonna do, especially because we skipped the jungle exploration, is we're gonna fight the Old One's army, and then we're gonna give another try at we're gonna get another try at Skeltron. But that this time with buffs. Like full buffs. Oh, and another thing I've learned, uh, because you know. I got interested in. Uh, I was in. I was thinking about getting some uh, corruption blocks in order to be able to fish some ebon koi um, at a fishing pond or somewhere on the uh, surface. And I realized that the dryad in hard mode, if she's in a graveyard biome, she sells the opposite um, biome seeds. So. If we do think about it, we're gonna be able to get corruption seeds once we enter hard mode, at, well, as soon as we enter hard mode, which is gonna be good, because we will need those. And 10%, losing 10% damage isn't that bad in pre-hard mode. And yeah, worst case scenario, if we really can't beat Wall of Flesh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some, uh, um, uh, some blocks from the corruption and just... Uh, make the artificial biome early, a uh, tiny bit earlier than normal. Oh, yeah, I was. Uh, I actually forgot what I was where I came in here. I want to get a region potion, of iron skin potion. Um, I got some of these big boys as well. Yeah, and a sweetness potion. Why not? And now, we're gonna go ahead and fight the Old One's army. So, what the Old One's army is, is an event that was done as a little crossover with Dungeon Defenders 2. Your main goal is to protect this thing once you put in a, an Eternia Eter 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 Crystal. Yes. And once you do so, on both sides there will be a portal. This portal will spawn enemies that will try to attack it. And there are also three, uh, three different uh, tiers to this entire event. And you get these um, or uh, like these rods, which I'll show you after the event uh, with, uh, do the event um, that uh, you can put down. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, that you can put down and they deal damage to the enemies. Okay, if I put down another one, I think I should be able to... Why? Why can't I use it? Okay, there we go. I should be able to leave that uh, zone and just uh, focus on the one on the left side. So yeah, as you can see, there are waves of enemies. You get these Aetherian mana that you can summon uh, your rods with. Did we get enough for another one? Yes, we did. Oh no, never mind, it increases in price. I forgot. Well, another round. And it increases in tiers, depending on where you are in the progression. 
Uh, tier 1 is up until you beat the mech boss. Then you get uh, tier 2. Uh, which will, which is unlocked after Golem, I believe. And with each tier... Oh, shoot. Uh, with each tier, you unlock more uh, better weapons. Okay, so they don't fully die. Okay, nice. And we can... Okay, we can summon the last one. Uh, our biggest problem right now will be the last wave, the one which has the mini boss. Because if it comes from the right side, it's gonna be perfect. If it comes from the left side, it's gonna be a bit annoying. Because I'm not sure if you can resummon these. Like, uh, get rid of these ones and summon them on the other side. But yeah. With our upgrades, this, sh this really shouldn't be uh, too hard. And the reason we're doing this is so we can uh, buy uh, another sentry, which we can use uh, in normal gameplay. Well, even this one will be able to use in normal gameplay, but this one is a bit uh, uh, mech when it comes to certain uh, bosses and enemies, as it's only a ground sentry. So, they're all... Okay, they're not all dead. Okay, let's see. Let's get these. Yep, no. You cannot you cannot summon another one. Unless it requires like 50 or so. And yeah, you get Defender Medals after wave... Once you complete wave 3 and onwards. It's possible we might need to do the event twice, and if we need to do so, I'll just uh, uh, do it on my own. That's a uh, worst case scenario. Oh, I cannot wait to upgrade our whip. Oh yeah, I will need to be careful. Because of those guys. <sighs> so everyone else should be dying. And we just need to, to really be careful about that side. But I'm also gonna come from time to time there. Yeah, I see another defender metal. What hurt me? Anyway. Okay, cool. So I did take care of everyone on this side. So now this should be the last wave. Yeah, Dark Mage, as you can see there. Now, does he spawn from the start or... I I'm not exactly sure. It seems like not. Okay, thank goodness he focused on me. Okay, he spawned on this side, that's not good. I gotta take care of these guys first. I really hope those are the last ones. Nope. He can damage, really? Oh yeah, that's... Okay. Really? Okay, this is way harder with one player. This is way, way harder with one player. Uh, yeah. Oh, I also forgot to use the buffs anyway. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm unsure. I think I should be putting like two on each side. Actually, I could just wait until the last wave and see where the uh, where that guy comes from and just put all of them there. I could also do that. Okay, let, let, let's try it again, and this time I'll, I'll buff. 
and uh, we'll wait and see where they uh, where they spawn. I'm gonna wait on waves and uh, see where the, those guys spawn at the, at the end, wave 5. The only real problem is gonna be that uh, you're gonna need to be way, a bit more careful when it comes to defending the, uh, the crystal. The most annoying part really was were those flying guys, because I had two choices. I either wait in the middle and have the left side come in very closely and maybe not be able to destroy them anymore, or don't stay in the middle and come only where those the flying guys uh, are there, but that just uh, makes it even worse. The other thing is I don't think I have anything that has piercing other than my minions. Like, lots of piercing, I mean. Yeah, now I need to come left, left, right, left, right, just make sure they don't really come uh, too close. If we don't succeed this time either, I'm just gonna go kill Skeletron and uh, get the upgrades from the uh, f from the dungeon and then take care of, uh, try to take care of Old One's army like that. And depending on how long, if uh, it or not, uh, if it's or not, this episode might not actually have any real progress other than <laughs> a couple upgrades. Worst case scenario, if you don't beat Skeletron, we'll try to, uh, we'll give a try at uh, B. Right, let's go on the other side. I should have put Asphalt. Actually, can I even get Asphalt? Good question. Yeah, I should have had Asphalt instead of uh, Grey Brick. Because I think Asphalt only gives me speed, right? It shouldn't give uh, speed to enemies. No. Well. Wow. Okay, so wave 4 is in. 10 seconds, okay. I think our buffs should last up until the final uh, one. Okay, so it's they it still took a bunch of damage, but at least Oh no. You know what? At least both sides get uh, get lots of damage now. And I should be able to take care of this guy easily now. What? Also, why are these, like, full HP? Does the Necromancer heal them? Okay, this is actually worse than, than Skeletron. I think we would have had a much better chance at Skeletron than at these guys for some reason. I, I don't know. I don't understand it. Okay, um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and fish. Um, prepare the potions for the, for the Skeletron fight. And I will see you guys when uh, Knight is gonna be here and we're ready for Skeletron. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we are ready for Skeletron, and I should hurry in a way because we uh, don't have much time, really. Uh, I did make the arena a bit bigger, and I added Heart Lanterns and the Bust Statue now, and... Buff, summon the last guy, and... Let's go. I might not talk at all during this fight, because I really 
want to focus on uh, beating Mr. Skeleton. Though this time, I think, being much better prepared, we should be able... Nope. The one thing I don't want to do is uh, get hit and uh, get stuck inside this skull. And I forgot one important thing. Getting potions, uh, like 100 potions. Oh, there is one thing that would have helped us quite a lot in this fight. And that would have been uh, wings. But the only problem with the wings is that we cannot get them anymore. Because, so, there are those pre hard mode wings that you could get. Okay, I gotta focus here. That you could get uh, when you start journey mode, right? But they added those in sky chests. The only problem there is that we cannot uh, have them because this world was done, was made uh, right in one point when 1.4 uh, came out. So we don't have the same loot in the sky in the sky chests as a 1.4 world has. So that's our problem there. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, there's no way we die here. I think we can even tank him. And it's done. It is done. And now, officially, we can go into the dungeon and get ourselves a bunch of upgrades, actually. One of which is a spinal tap, which is a whip. Which I don't remember exactly the crafting uh, four. Oh, okay. This will take a couple water candles with us. But yeah, you can uh, destroy spikes to one uh, hit. I forgot about that one. And that's our first uh, golden chest. Golden chest that we cannot open. I think. Okay, I gotta be careful of the traps as well. I think it's with. Well, of course it's with bones because it's uh, something. <sighs> really? Uh, because it's something crafted from uh, the dungeon, right? But I'm not sure how many bones and what else I need uh, alongside the bones, you know? Wait, what? Um, excuse me? I think this is the first time something like that happens to me. Like this. This has never happened to me. If there wasn't this uh, whole hoiking thing, I think we wouldn't be able to get into the dungeon. To the dungeon proper. Without some... Uh, some cheats. This is a trap, right? Like, just a trap. I believe. Yep, it is. It is what it is. I need to remember, I cannot really step on those. Actually, never mind, we could have gotten... Actually, no, we couldn't have gotten into there, because that was close as well. Oh. As for the chests, what I want to get from uh, the golden chests is the... Watch me call it a cobalt shield and handgun, and that's another one of those. What? Oh, there's a cobalt shield. Why is this even a thing? Like, is that supposed to be like actual normal generation?
I wonder. I don't I don't think it's supposed to be. Ooh. Oh my god, really? I want those. So now, officially, we have four. We can have up to four minions. Once we kill Queen and Queen B, and we get the Witch Doctor, we're gonna be able to have up to uh, five minions. Six? I'm not exactly sure. Really? Yeah, I can. I I have to agree with everyone. These things are. So so annoying. Oh. We'll also need to get ourselves uh, a Nazar at one. Oh, mechanic. Hello. You're gonna be really useful. If you don't die. And she's gonna die. Can't really help her much. That's another key slime. Yeah, the dungeon is kind of... I don't know why, but the dungeon is easier than the... Wait. Oh, it did drop on. Okay, never mind. It is easier than the jungle, somehow, for some reason. Oh! Okay, really? So this place down here is just nothing. Okay. Oh, the cloak's here. I forgot about that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna hear lots of space bars around here, and I'm sorry if it's annoying. Okay, the blue moon. Also damage, no bad, and a shadow key. And we need one last item. Not that one. Uh, is there... oh. We're finding a lot of... Uh, slimes, which is nice. Now, where do I need to go? Okay, found it. And another chest. Nice. We're getting literally every other item but the one we truly need. Oh, that's okay, sure. I don't mind. Then where? Oh, of course it's literally on the other side, but uh, sure. Um, never mind, that was a trap. Okay, then up here. Right? I really hate this in a dungeon. I, I understand it. It's much more interesting because now you have traps and whatnot, like actual traps. But this whole thing is so annoying not knowing where, where, where am I supposed to go? Okay, that's maybe? Hello. Where is now the dungeon this small? No, nothing up there. Okay, seriously now, where... Where am I supposed to go? Really? 
Please don't tell me. Oh, oh my god. I swear. Is it just me or are those, uh, those balls bigger? What hit me? Anyway. Oh my god. Oh, nice, you got the tally counter. Uh, oh, nice. This is another thing I really wanted. The alchemy table. Of course. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good call. As, as I said, we're literally getting everything but what I need. Wait, weren't they supposed to be able to break down doors? Ah, uh, trap or actual like way to go? I think this is an actual way to go. So annoying. Like, before it was actually very straightforward. Okay, did they increase the amount of keys you generally get? Because we have two keys now. And usually it's rare that you actually get keys. Well, not rare, but it's uncommon. Like, you have to work for a set keys. Okay, more Masa, sure. Another blue moon. Can you please give me a gun? This gun isn't uh, isn't in here. Okay, I need to be careful. I guess gun isn't present today. Not the water bolt this. I think uh, what they might do is leave getting gun for next time. Yeah. And in the next episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue exploring the dungeon. We're gonna get gun, right? Upgrade it. And fight Queen Bee. But before we actually end this episode, Where's my guide? I want to know how do I craft the spinal tap? Oh yeah, we can craft the void bag and the void wolf now as well. So it's 90 bones and 55 cobwebs at the workbench. I, I swear if I don't have enough bones... I'm gonna have to go back to the bone zone. Okay. And spinal tap. Ten more, uh, ten more damage, and that's without so. Uh, uh, without being legendary. So let's see. Okay. A bit slower, but uh, way bigger range. How much do you? Well, not way bigger, but just bigger. How much do you cost? Dangerous. <laughs> are you are you kidding me? Okay, so it's almost double damage. And it's as tall as that tree. Okay. It doesn't get the uh, the speed bonus. This does better. Yeah, performs better against multiple targets. This is like the, the whip you will need to use against uh wall of flesh. Because it uh, it can uh, deal with the hungries uh, way better than any other whip it, whip can. 
So, the alchemy table, I'm gonna put that out here. So that's gonna be very helpful. Uh, what else? Uh, the breaching table will remain in here alongside the shadow key. And the rest will come out with me. And get quick stacked. <sighs> yeah, thing, I forgot things quick stack in here as well. Um, shadow key? I don't think we need the second shadow key. Nor do we need a really a uh, second blue moon, it doesn't have... Uh, whatchamacallit, it doesn't have uh, a recipe, it cannot be crafted into anything else. Anything else we could sell? Oh yeah, the second shadow key. Now, do we want to put the... Uh, not that case, it's really that big of a problem, honestly. So I think the cobalt shield will remain a cobalt shield until we... Uh, Managed to get uh, ourselves an Ankh shield. Though I'm unsure about that one. Um, anything else in here? Couple of potions. This should be it. So, furniture. Boom, boom. And weapons like that. We can throw bones, bones. I think I'm gonna put them in weapons, like that. In Valor. Uh, we can throw you away. Now, I'm gonna put the Skeleton Relic here, though that's gonna be the spot for the... Um, I don't know exactly which one. I'm gonna have to uh, get myself interested. Now, let's open the trash bag. And we got a mask, actually. That's nice. I'm actually gonna keep that on for now. And the bone glove. Shoots crossbones at enemies while you're attacking. Oh! Really? Okay, that's interesting. I kind of like that kind of uh, accessor uh, accessory or item. But it's not really as useful in uh, our current situation. At least not more useful than uh, Cloud in a Bolt Hole. So yeah. Actually, I just now realized we could get ourselves the... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, t we need 20, right? And uh, Cobalt Shield. Yeah, I'm gonna craft the Obsidian Shield. Of course I get armor to there. Spiked. And like that. I think I can actually throw that one. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it. Now, if we reforge... Guarding. Better than nothing. And yeah, I think this is gonna be it for today, guys. And I will see you in the next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching and... Bye-bye.